That's Scott Williams. Courageous stuff from the Wallabies, but the Welsh are edging closer. 30 phases. How can they not score? All they've got to do is go wide, surely. Tapped on, Davis, and over on the far side, it's Lee Halfpenny, and so Wales. They will have the final say in the bronze final. Over 30 phases. Wallabies out on their feet. 30 phases. Consolation try. Is, um, although they retained the, the put in here, can they get it right this time? Yeah, he's quite and raw, is Alex what? Popham. Gareth Cooper blindside breaks it. Bergman Cooper, what a try by the scrum half. He read the situation absolutely brilliantly. The Tongan back row were super glued to that scrummage. They didn't see it coming. And that's what Wales needed. An opening try for the Dragons. Wales 11, Tonga 3. Well, where Tui Pua from the left winger is, I don't know, and I doubt Wales care too much either. But Gareth Cooper spotted the gap, spotted the hole. Great dive, slide your way in, smiling five yards out. Well spotted, good vision, good away. Peavy's opposite number, but ball still there for Wales. Roberts looks inside this time. Reese and Falatau offload it to George North. North puts his ears back, foot to the floor, pedal to the metal. They've lost it this time though. Michael slips the pass to Gareth Thomas. He can go all the way. Showing good pace as well as power in this game. And that is a hat-trick of tries for the 20-year-old from Bridgend on his international debut. What a day for him. What will be the option here taken by Wales? Mark Ring has gone over to the blind side. Here's Ring. Goes for the gap, gives it to Ian Evans. He's in for the try. My word, what drama here then at Cardiff Arms Park as Jai Evans, the Welsh skipper, gets his first try for Wales in 13 matches to bring them back to within three points of Western Samoa, but we're already one minute into injury time. It's coming a bit late in the game for Wales. Will it be just a, a consolation try, but a good piece of magic, rugby magic there from Mark Ring. Plenty of time, giving the ball in the end to Yayan Evans to cross in the corner. ...to bring down in that position. Oh, too many scrumards. Little kick over the top, surely. Phillips. Plenty of support as well. The magic moment for Shane Williams. Celebrates his 50th cap. By drawing the level with the Iron Evans in second place in the Welsh all time list. Inside pop to George North. How many times have we seen that? His first try was a similar one of Stephen Jones. Well, who's going to score it? Off to you, sir. It's James Roberts. The doctor will see you now. Wales go over for another try. George North has been absolutely majestic this evening. Every single time he touches the ball, something is happening. He's uh, he's outstanding. He just looks. He's, he is such a good player. You can't overstate how good he is. Uh. Late from Wales, but they do have one more chance. Clement in centre field. Looks for the switch to Hall, maybe. Back inside for John Humphreys. And finally. Wales do get the try. John Humphreys celebrating his second international appearance with his first try for his country. As I mentioned earlier, Clyde Shorty, too little, too late. Good tackle by Duplessis. Just short of halfway in Welsh territory. Beautiful hands, half penny. Here we go, Williams, the youngster. Too much pace. It was a brilliant injection by Lee Halfpenny from the right wing. And what a fantastic moment in his first World Cup appearance for Scott Williams. Shows you what happens when you join the line with the speed, the right timing, the angle of the run. Play allowed to continue. The Japanese not trying to interfere with play at all there. But look at this bounce for you, Adams. Well, certainly the luck is going Wales' way at the moment. 
None more so than in that move, finished off with great glee by Jan Evans. Club rugby 12 months ago, and now playing on the biggest stage in world rugby. George North powering through, up to the 22, offloads to his skipper, and Sam Warburton pins his ears back and slides in to send Wales into the quarterfinals. The bonus point is assured. That's what Wales were after, first up. It's a real high quality uh, display from George North. Every time he gets the ball, he looks threatening. He just, there's half a gap opened up, and just with his pace, he just bursts through it. And it was a fantastic pass to find Sam Warburton as well. So you just see a Wales mess up the line out. George North, a little show and go, steps inside. And this pass is really top class. He was uh, he was going in between two men. He timed it perfectly. And Sam Warburton's got the pace as well to finish off a move like that. Well, scored against Italy back in the Six Nations. Now adding to it. And this try, so valuable for Wales. And kind of symbolic that the skippers led the way into the quarterfinals. Support beautifully passed on. Now they must surely score. Do indeed, Sonny Parker. Beautiful break from Sweeney, and then again a superb link pass from Martin Williams. Wales under pressure initially. It was a poor pass from Peel. And what's the pick up? That's the killer. Great pick up from Sweeney. Slices through them. There he is again. Martin Williams is the link man. Terrific play from him. Harris draws the men. And the rest of it's easy. Good score from Wales. That should relieve the tension. Deborah. Hadley across in the line. Thorburn, 2 to 1 here with Thorburn going himself. Inside though is Deborah. Deborah inside the ring. It's a great score. Ring, the hero of the moment, as we can see now, was well set up and look how effective the extra man Hadley in from the left hand side proved to be, got his pass away well, Thorburn now had Evans outside but he saw the support just in time inside and then the two centres combined so well for Devereux to give the scoring pass to Mark Ring. making his test debut in a World Cup, the first Welshman to do that since Jason Jones Hughes. In 99, away goes North again, well picked up by Alan Wynne-Jones. Now it's beginning to open up for Wales, and it's opening up this time for Jonathan Davis. Exactly what Wales needed. He's an exciting run of the fullback. More away to Davis, to Jenkins. Support on both sides, Hemi Taylor, Adrian Davis, nice move by Wales, T.I. and Evans. Wales' is third try then of this first half and the second from the former skipper and that really was a delightful move, Gareth. Yes, and I think it couldn't have come at a better time. Wales are beginning to move the ball, getting more and more confident and uh, yet again, it's the good work done by the forwards really that Wales are capitalising on now. The line-out ball yet again from Derwin Jones. Well, Andy Moore, a superb reverse pass. And look at the strength of Neil Jenkins. Good support play. It's that long pass, really, that does all the damage in the end. And Yayan yet again, runs over for what for him is the relatively easy score. Oh, and a lovely wide pass to Devin James. And when he's in full flow, he's really got pace. Back inside to Gareth Thomas. Back inside to Taylor. And Taylor with a clear run to the post. Third try for Wales for Mark Taylor. He scored a glorious one against South Africa in June. And this one just as important. I think you'll find that Taylor made it as well as scoring it. Beautiful pass. That's the one, just drifts outside. Gives James plenty of room and they're stacking up on the inside. And there's the man who started it. He finished it. Good try by Wales. Apart from New Zealand, obviously. So uh, they can really take use of the breaks they've got. And uh, I'm much encouraged. Back row's been great. 
and a certain chap called Harris has been fantastic. Siddeley. Good ball outside, and now Gareth Thomas. Gareth Thomas with a line. Gareth Thomas scores, and it's traditional celebration. It's his 32nd try for his country on his 69th appearance in his third Rugby World Cup, and just one now behind Yian Evans. Out into the backs again. Dacey, Ring, Hopkins. Now he ran into a big trouble from Puka Kitikahaiho. Good tackle, but here's Ring again, who scored the try against Ireland. Kicking for Webb. And the try's been given. And uh, you can see the Tongans aren't happy about it. Woody Paula wasn't happy about it. That's two for Webb. One in each corner in the first few minutes of the match. Ill-timed move around the fringe. Again, Phillips goes, he thinks he's spotted again. Mike Phillips, has he gone over in the corner? Well, again, we're going to go up to the TMO. Mike Phillips scored that try against Ireland in the Six Nations. That was contentious, to say the least. This one, though, could be every bit as important as that one was. Let's have a look now. It was tremendous opportunism by Mike Phillips. I think he's got it, let's see. That's a wonderful try by Mike Phillips. Fair play to him, that is absolutely brilliant play. 5.6 for the dive. Five very valuable points for his team. That is a massive score as well, to get that next score after Ireland have thrown everything at Wales to get that try. And Wales have come back, as you, you said, Queen, they've come back so strongly and with such composure. Great try by Mike Phillips. Brilliant, brilliant play. Jones, Davis, Blevin Bowen on the scissors. Good support from Collins. Collins down, a chance on here, trying to find Deborah outside. Turns to make it available as Robert Jones kicks on. The two scrum halves in combat. Robert Jones is there. And here it comes, a lovely chip ahead by Robert Jones. And it's never in doubt that he was going to win the race with Richard Harding because Harding had to turn. And you can see that he's really in trouble there. He's looking at the man and Jones beats him well to his touch. Sammy Mohi and Ring, out to Webb, let's see how he's feeling. Glenn Webb. Oh, beautiful, what a comeback. A try, a hat-trick of tries for Glenn Webb. I still think he's not absolutely 100%, and you can see that. But uh, the instinct to play and play well is very strong in this man. Tonga were going so well, but suddenly it broke clear to Webb. And 60 metres out, he set off and sprinted clear and beat the fullback comfortably and then was in under the post unopposed. A hat trick for Glenn Webb. And Justin Marshall makes another good hit. Popping out there for Cooper. Great work here by Jones. This is the left winger, Shanklin. Dougie Howlett underneath, and now Jones the prop. Chances on, Thomas was too slow, there were three men over, it's still there. Taylor, here's a try. Martin this young Taylor. combination, needs to this supposed second what stringer, can do this against the mighty All Blacks. Thomas, and also the, the, uh, the winger Shanklin, set it up by retaining after this. What a magic pass. Brilliant win and showing. Waiting for this one. The fullback has bigger in field. And bigger. Little scoop forward for himself to chase. It's landing nicely. He's judged this well. And bigger takes it. And now bigger hearing down in the line. And he gives it out to Gareth Davis. And Davis for the try. And Wales hit back immediately. What play from bigger. What a finish from Davis. Who keeps on scoring tries at this World Cup. A moment of indecision from the South African defence as well as Bigger just chipped it forward. Well, it was great vision, wasn't it? There was a bit of space there. There was a half up and under, half tip over the top. Billy LaRue was a bit slow to get across, lost the contest in the air. Most impressively was the offload by Bigger. Davies ran a good line, screamed, made a noise for it. This is so impressive. Up he goes, wins the contest. LaRue was a little slow. 
and the sense that Chippen will toss it out the back. Not even J.P. Peterson could get across to save the try. It's a super response. This is when you start looking at the body language of both teams. Who wants this match more? Brent Cobain with a superb jump. Former Queenslander. This is Sweeney. Jarvis in support. Colin Jarvis, the captain. Yes, Sweeney just short. They only need the ball to score the try. Here it comes. Thomas. There it is. It's that man, Williams. And Wales have hit the lead. Unbelievable so circumstances. Well, well did it all time from Brent Cobain's win in the lineout. Beautiful vision, midfield. And the support from Charles inside, outside, popped it back up. Sweeney there to support, and this pure genius. Well, there will be many Welsh people around the world who have never ever seen a situation like. Touch, but not for long because they're away again here. Davis. Nice angled run from Jenkins. The top. Still going. Gethin Jenkins, he would turn around saying all I need now is a one in front of the three on my back because he ran like a centre. Well, Matthew Cooper, that'll be a, a, a 60 metre try by the time it gets to his well, grandchildren. Well, it's been a great comeback, hasn't it, from Jenkins. He's been injured, had a, a lot of calf injuries, foot injuries, but then he just started the big charge. And here he goes, he puts the hammer down, it's like a charging ball, the Welsh Dragon's over. Showing a lot of composure, Mark Taylor, when the ball has been kicked through. This is Williams, oh, what a step! How about that? Shane Williams, he's gassed them, and here it comes for Shanklin! Oh, wonderful! The Kiwi's got it, Sonny Parker, against the men in black. Taylor back on the fifth, look at this. Left, right, through. Beautiful running. Look at the feet go. Then he got the call from Shanklin, who had Taylor just back on the field. I think he's injured in the scoring the try. Well, Shane Williams saw Brad Thorne and Ellie Williams there, the two big New Zealand locks, and he just turned them round and then just got going. And finally, well, they turned it over. Williams comes away with it. That time Chardonnay is very strong on the ball, calls the turnover. Yeah, just over. Trouble. Williams takes it away. The electrifying speed of Shane Williams steps inside. One, two, three. Shut the gate. Il Gantapotpa. The swan dive of Shane Williams sets the Welsh supporters in the crowd line. I could watch that all day, I must have been. His cadence is unbelievable. His turn on foot speed. The Welsh did well to spot the space. There's no better man to be on, it, on the end of this. Good luck trying to get a hand on him, let alone tackling him. Inside Navua, inside Rutubo. David. Set up again. Giant Evans. The ring. There could be an overlap here. Paul Thorburn. Thorburn goes. Thorburn to Hadley and on the corner. It all hinges on the conversion as Hadley sweeps in for the try. And the crowd on their feet. The banners are lost. The joy unbounded. Severa. Giant Evans. To, to Mark Ring. Paul Thorburn, I thought for a moment he might have lost it in the tackle, but he got it away so well, and Hadley put it down for the try. And would you like now to be in the boots of Paul Thorburn? It's from the touchline, and on it, one has to say, must hinge the third place in this World Cup. Superbly kicked. He has done it. He has done it. 
He'll never kick finer than that. Alan Wing Jones passes Priestland. Bigger. Jamie Roberts. It's Lloyd Williams, the scrum half on the wing. Wales with a chance! Oh, what a kick from Lloyd Williams! From one scrum half to another. One scrum half to another. Gareth Davis in hot pursuit between the posts. They're playing rugby league, they're that close together. And out on this touch, Ben Kay. Williams can have a go here. He can get around Kay. No problem. Off he goes. This is Cooper. Robinson in front. Jones. Thomas. Has to be a try if he holds on. And there it is for Jones. One of the tries of the tournament. Well, in the village of Kamartha, where Stephen Jones hails from, all the junior rugby was called off today. And that's why. Not one of the tries of the tournament. The try of the tournament. A ridiculous kick considering they had Ben Kay, a lot more. The only well, person out wide was Ben Kay. What went through their mind, you wouldn't know. And they got dusted. They got dusted for pace. They got dusted for skill. They got dusted for, and for wit. And the support continued to come. You good things, Wales. Well, Williams handled twice. He juggled at the end, the second touch, and flicked the ball back inside as Ben Cohen came across. And Stephen Jones, look at him, he can see the try line. His fourth test try in his 34th test appearance.